The M67 recoilless rifle was a 90mm, 3.55 inch, anti tank recoilless rifle made in the United States and later in the Republic of Korea. It could also be employed in an anti personnel role with the use of the M590 anti personnel round. It was designed to be fired primarily from the ground using the bipod and monopod, but could also be fired from the shoulder using the folded bipod as a shoulder rest and the monopod as a front grip. The weapon was air-cooled and breech-loaded, and fired fixed ammunition. It is a direct-fire weapon employing stadia lines to allow simple range finding, based on a typical tank target bridging the lines once in range. History and Use Introduced in the early 1960s to Army and Marine Corps service, the M67 was used in the Vietnam War together with the much larger 106mm M40. The M67 proved a reliable and effective weapon, though it was primarily used against personnel and fortifications in combat, and saw little or no use against armor. While troops praised its effectiveness, the M67 came under heavy criticism due to the weapon's weight and length as well as its back blast, which often precluded its use in offensive operations. Because of these disadvantages, some Marine Corps units continued to use the old M20 Super Bazooka in preference to the M67. It was largely replaced in Army service by the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile system starting in 1975. The M67 was not completely withdrawn from infantry service. Instead, it was retained as a substitute standard anti-tank weapon for special tasks or battle environments. Since the batteries of the Dragon and the wires of the tow could fail due to extremely low temperatures, the M67 was used for units deploying to Arctic environments and remained in many infantry units in West Germany, such as the 1st Battalion, 15th Infantry, 3rd Infantry Division. In 1988, the 6th Light Infantry Division in Alaska was still using the M67 in its special weapons platoons. Two M67s were used by CCO 587th, LT Infantry, 193rd Infantry Brigade during Operation Just Cause in the Republic of Panama in 1989, using the M590 anti-personal ammunition. Similarly, the urban environment of West Berlin prompted the Army to keep the weapon with the 4th, 5th and 6th Battalions of the 502nd Infantry Regiment, Berlin Brigade. As late as winter 1991, the M47 Dragon replaced it in January 1992. The Army Rangers retained the M67 in their weapons platoons until the 1990s, when it was replaced by the 84mm M3 Carl Gustav. Ranger M67S played a key role in knocking out 4 to 5 BTR 60 APCs of the People's Revolutionary Army in Granada during Operation Urgent Fury in 1983. Lastly, Combat engineer units used the M67 as a demolition gun to destroy bunkers and other hardpoint targets as part of their MTOE, Modified Table of Organization and Equipment, at least as late as 1990. In February 2011, it was reported that stocks of surplus M67 recoilless rifles were reintroduced to the 101st Airborne Division for limited combat service in Afghanistan. Numbers of these weapons were issued to the 506th Infantry Regiment, Kahi, 4th Brigade Combat Team, for use against fortifications, and concentrations of enemy personnel. The M67 was issued in response to a demand for a reloadable shoulder-fired weapon to be used in static defensive positions as well as ambushes. In particular, the Flechette anti-personnel round saw common usage. The M67S were eventually phased out again as the Army expanded issuing of the M3 Carl Gustav recoilless rifle to regular infantry units. Currently, the M67 is in use by the El Salvadorian Army and Republic of Korea Army. Description The M67 is shaped like a long tube with the side assembly and trigger offset to the side in opposite directions about halfway along the barrel. Under this point is the monopod with the bipod halfway back from there. The weapon required a crew of three to operate it, a gunner, assistant gunner, loader, and ammo bearer. The breech is hinged on the right side, and had to be swung open to load the round. It was then swung closed and when the rifle was fired, the rear end of the shell case broke up and was blown out of the back of the breech block. On the left side of the barrel, 
near the site and trigger assemblies, was an asbestos heat shield to protect the gunner's shoulder and neck from the heat of the barrel when firing. It was capable of maintaining a sustained fire rate of one round per minute, but the weapon could also be rapid fired at an increased rate of one round every six seconds, 10 RPM, by a well trained crew. The rapid firing was limited to five rounds, with a mandatory 15 minute cool off period afterward. The M49A1 subcaliber device, which uses NATO 7.62 mm rounds, is typically used for zeroing the sight and for qualifying purposes. The sight would be visually zeroed by setting crossed strings over the gun barrel opening, there was a rubber loop and notches at the end of the barrel to facilitate holding the string in the correct position, then looking through the barrel of the subcaliber device, and crossed strings, and setting the fixed stadia, reticle sight to the same target. The subcaliber rounds could then be used to further refine the zero and to qualify. Ammunition Ammunition for the 90mm rifle was issued in complete fixed cartridges. The term fixed means that the projectile and the cartridge case are crimped together. This ensures correct alignment of the projectile and the cartridge case. It also permits faster loading because the projectile and the cartridge case are loaded as one unit. The rear end of the cartridge case is made of frangible material that is completely destroyed when fired. The projectiles used are pre-engraved with a rifling band, that is, the rotating bands are cut to engage the rifled bore both to trap gases and to spin stabilize the projectile. M371 Practice Round The M371 is a practice round for the M371A1 heat round. It has the high explosive filler replaced with inert ballast to keep it at the same weight and flight properties. The nose cap contains a smoke pellet to mark the point of impact. Cartridge weight, 9.25 pounds, 4.2 kilograms. Cartridge length, 28.10 in, 714 millimeters. Projectile weight, 6.75 pounds, 3.06 kilograms. Muzzle velocity, 700 feet slash s, 213 m slash s. Maximum effective range, 437 yd, 400 m. Fuse, PIBD M530A1. M371A1 heat round. The M371A1 round utilizes a special fin stabilized projectile which employs the shaped charge principle to defeat armor. It does not depend upon velocity at the moment of impact for its effect, relying on a concentration of the effect of the explosive filler through its shape. The conical shape of the filler concentrates the force of the explosion into a hot jet that blows its way through the armor. The shape of the filler is maintained by a metal cone which forms a slug when the filler is exploded. This slug or metal may or may not follow the explosive jet through the armor. The end of the projectile is a long and narrow standoff of a length that allows the heat jet to achieve maximum effect against the target. The heat round is used primarily against armor. It can also be used against secondary targets such as gun emplacements and pillboxes with excellent results. It is capable of penetrating 1.15 feet 350 mm, of armor plate, steel, 3.5 feet 1 .1 m, of packed soil or 2.5 feet, 0.8 m, of reinforced concrete. Cartridge weight, 9.25 pounds, 4.2 kilograms. Cartridge length, 28.10 in, 714 millimeters. Projectile weight, 6.75 pounds, 3.06 kilograms. Muzzle velocity, 700 feet s. 213 m s Maximum effective range, 437 yd, 400 m. Fuse, PIBD M530A1. M590 antipersonnel canister. The antipersonnel, canister, cartridge M590, XM590E1, or M590 cartridge is a flechette round designed for close-in defense against massed infantry attacks. The cartridge consists of an aluminum cartridge case crimped to an aluminum canister. The canister consists of a thin-walled, deep-drawn, aluminum body that contains a payload of 2,408 grain, 0.5 grams, low-drag, fin-stabilized, 
steel wire flechettes. When the canister leaves the muzzle, the pressure ruptures the canister along inscribed score marks to release the flechettes, which disperse in a cone angle of approximately 8 degrees. Cartridge weight, 6.79 pounds, 3.08 kilograms. Cartridge length, 19.19 in, 487 millimeters. Projectile weight, 3.97 pounds, 1.8 kilograms. Muzzle velocity, 1,250 feet s, 381 m s. Maximum effective range, 328 yd, 300 m. Fuse, none. Type recoilless rifle. Place of origin United States. Service history. In service 1960 s 1975. 2011 present. War Salvadoran Civil War. Vietnam War. Falklands War. War in Afghanistan. Specifications. Weight 37.5 pounds, 17 kilograms. Length 53 in, 1346 millimeters. Height 17 in, 432 millimeters. Crew 3. Caliber 3.54 in, 90 millimeters. Rate of fire 1 RPM. Muzzle velocity 700 feet s, 213 m s. Maximum firing range 2300 yd, 2100 m. Sights telescopic with stadia lines. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.